Welcome to the program Help from Above. Wherever you are joining us, I thank God for your life. This is the day that the Lord our God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today I will be speaking to you on the dry bones shall live again in Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel talked about the vision that he saw. He said that the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit and he set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of bones. He went on to say that the bones were dried. Very, very dry. In verse number 4 of Ezekiel 37, Again, he said unto me, Prophesy on these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. A credible prophetic utterance can bring life into any dead situation. I don't know who you are. It may be that the situation around you resembles that that Ezekiel was in. A valley full of dry bones. No life. Dry situations. Difficult situation, hopeless situation, no help, no breathing, everywhere dry. Yet, in that dry situation, life can come. There could be life out of the dead. There could be light out of darkness there could be joy out of sorrow there could be riches and wealth out of poverty and God told Ezekiel don't be born the situation prophesy speak to it prophesy to the dry bone I speak into your life, into your situation, life, joy, peace, prosperity, victory in the place of defeat. So Ezekiel said, I prophesied as I was commanded. There is power. When we walk with the Lord and act upon his word, I proclaim to you today that that situation will not kill you. The river of life will not overflow you or drown you. I proclaim life I proclaim joy. I proclaim peace. So for Ezekiel, he said, I prophesied as I was commanded. And you know, there was a quicken. I believe in the transformative power of the gospel. Jesus gave his life 
so that we might live. He said, the devil, the thief, he comes not but to steal, to kill, to destroy. That is his ministry. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. It is this life, the victorious life, the life that is full of joy and peace, the life out of the dry valley, the life of victory that I speak into your own life today, that that dry situation will change, that light will break out of your dark situation. I prophesy you will not pine away. You will not be defeated. I prophesy divine help. I prophesy divine health. I prophesy the breakthrough that you desire. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, if thou can believe, all things are possible. That womb can conceive. That business can grow. There can be a way where there had been no way. The storm will come. When you allow Jesus to come into your life. I call on you today. Don't look at the wind. Look at Jesus. The dry bones will live again. What appears to be hopeless can bring you joy. That thing that caused you sorrow and pain will now bring you joy and happiness. I bless you today and I bless your family. I bless the works of your hands. Wherever you are, if you have not accepted Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior, ask him now to come and say, Lord, I believe you. I believe your word. I receive Jesus into my life as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, the journey has started in the positive direction. We would like to assist you in your Christian work. So get in touch with us. My contacts are all on your screen. You can reach us on our email, uh, telephone, whatever uh, outlet. And I want to hear from you this week. I want, to hear, I want to hear your testimony as I take authority and dominion over every power of darkness that may have invaded your life. The impossibilities that threaten you on your face, the dryness in your economy, dryness in your health, dryness and frustrative atmosphere around you. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. I break your chains and set you loose. Go and prosper. Go and be blessed. 
in Jesus name Amen if you come to Benin City or around here visit us at New Covenant Gospel Church in New Benin, Benin City we will be glad to have you in any of our services on Sunday thank you God bless you